Hi, I'm Brian, and you're watching Someplace to Another. And today I'm at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Depot in Florence, in <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> she brain freeze. All right, let's go see if we can. Let's go see if we can check it out. Check out this cool clock out front. That's pretty neat. It's the mayor's legacy clock. Hmm, okay. There's a sign out front. Let's go check that out. Cool. Nice. So I am correct. And it appears to maybe be a museum inside. Huh. Let's go check that out. First, let's check out this uh, statue out front of uh, George Roger Clark. How you doing, buddy? Ah, uh, I come in peace. You don't need that. How's it going? Let's go check out the front. It's a big, it's a big railroad depot. And a very windy day today. That's a pretty big depot. I wonder, it was probably really busy back in the day. Look at these tracks, they're so long and flat. Okay, let's see if they're open. <laughs> I didn't know there was a museum, but hey, if there is, we gotta check it out, right? Hmm, I wonder if it's open. Well, we're in. <laughs> Let's see if we can find somebody. Hmm. <laughs> I thought it was a museum on it. Huh. It's kind of dark in here. I don't think we'll be able to see very good. Toward some vacant museums in my time, but this is the first one that's. <laughs> okay, we'll make this quick. It's a little safe in here. Is there a light switch? <sighs> Don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. Okay, I found the light switch. That, that should help. That's a cool old clock. Hmm. That's different. I got a telegraph sender receiver. I know that neat looking clock. I can hear people walking on the top floor. <laughs> Must be offices. Old desk. Piano. This is pretty neat. What is this? It's made by Columbia. It's a safe. Where are they keeping safe? That's a neat camera. Pretty cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. Someone's vacuuming. Hey. Ask the railroad if they had any material. She wanted to make a coil out of old engines. Oh. And they didn't, but because she asked, they made it. <laughs> and that's and, neat. Uh, we have a balances made out of some of that original material. Blown off from a hurricane, hurricane or a tornado. Tornado that went through here. Whoa! Wow! It was in rough shape. And uh, the roof caved in, and so they. We, they wouldn't even talk to us about buying it, and then all, once the roof came in, and they they uh, talked to us, and we floor community development corp on the building. It looks nice. Symbol they called it. I have not heard the duck symbol. That when these people got uh, released discharged from the military, they didn't have any clothes to wear. So oh. if they had that symbol on, they weren't AWOL. Oh, they weren't? Okay. So they could be anywhere and so on. Oh. That, that sailor's uniform has one up there, too. It does. Huh. I learn something new every day. That's cool. And uh, Great Lakes class of 1940 is... A local boy graduated then, and he's still buried in the Arizona in the Hawaii Harbor. Oh, oh, okay. And he's one of them in that class. And uh, this fellow here, and here, and there. <laughs> he he was one of the first ones they brought back in World War II. They say I. And this is out of our cemetery out here where they have the military hmm. part of it. In 17, 1917, to raise money for World War One, and it was done by the Red Cross. Oh. And, uh, and these names of these people, are there? See, they paid to get, as a money raiser, they paid to get their name on there. Oh, okay. And do you know we have a Charlie Brown Park here? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> and, and this lady right here, Ben Brown, yeah. gave us her farm for a park. Her husband died, her son had died, and that's where our city park really is, out three miles or about her flight uniform, and he gave us his dress uniform. He's he was a class of 57 here, and he was a class of 58. Oh, wow. Cool. And this was a depot that people paid to have it built, and it burned, and this one that's here now was built. Ah. And you see, well, I showed you in there that... What part blew off? That there was none there, and that's what had blown over on the roof. Wow, that must have really hit... Pretty hard because brick. They dug a reservoir out here to furnish water for the steam engines. Oh, oh that's what this thing is. Okay. 61. It was not the end of 1960, late October. They, no, I think it's late September. They introduced the 61 Fords here. They weren't oh. anywhere else. And we were the very close to the center of the population of the 1960 census. Oh, okay. And that's the reason they picked here. But they brought all these tra these cars in on the train <coughs> and parked them out in the field, and people were going to pick them up. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then... There's a lady and her son and daughter and and uh, two neighbor children picking up her car, and she had a 15-year-old great-granddaughter that had to do a duct tape project. So she took that picture and reproduced it out of duct tape, and that's it. Whoa, I thought <laughs> that's some talent. Let's make it light there. Yeah, it's hard to get it without 
reflections. You come back a little farther. Lights off, or I guess windows are mainly there. Well, I'm getting more slow lights. Yeah. Oh, here, that's a good spot right there. Duct tape. That's pretty wild. Twenty map and highways weren't numbered in 1920. They had names. So, highway. 50 that goes through here was Lincoln Trail. Lincoln Trail, yeah. And, and they wrapped that around the poles along the road. Oh. And there were 48 of them that were named. Huh. And in the mid-20s, they started numbering them because they were doing construction, building new ones, and, and they felt it was easier. <laughs> and I think an apple tree and yeah, the, things, but they're, uh, they also left symbols along for other hobos. <laughs> two people have told me they found that in their yard, which oh, really? was a good place for a handout. <laughs> and one of them had little rocks, yeah. little pebbles with an X in it, and one of them had it carved in top of a fence post where they had Oh, it. wow. <laughs> that, so, I guess there's a nice family. So this... You can't quite see the carvings. Yeah. See here, but E M M, and he put a big tail on there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And carousel horse. And this horse supposed to be, was carved by the the. He was a mayor here, and he was also a contractor, and he. Supposedly, he did six of them, and his son, his daughter lived in Florida, and his wife died, so he moved to Florida and he had this. And he said, Would you take that? So it was 1924, and that must have been his nickname or handle. Okay. Well, there's a movie out called Emperor of the North. Yeah. And Lee Marvin is a hobo, and in that movie, he's a number one. That's his nickname. Uh -huh. Oh. And Ernest Borgnine is the, I, I'm not sure if he's a conductor or engineer, but they're the ones that are, that, that was when it first came here. And it, it went all over and out to California and back to here. <laughs> Farming and oil industry. And then there we won the Rockies. So we've got coast to coast. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. And uh, then the only real authentic, and we had a roundhouse across the street that burned in 51. And I've got a camera I put on here, and then you take a virtual ride on it. <laughs> it shows on the TV. That's for, oh, that's why you turn the TV on. A track inspection car. Oh. And I think it's a little gangster's car. <laughs> but hmm. getting blurry on me. It used to go a lot, a lot faster than us, but I don't know if the train will catch up with it, but all the intersections, so on. there he goes, I think. Oh, that's clever. Here, here we got the train. Camera. We can go for a ride on train. And now the train's pushing. <laughs> They're pushing the car. <laughs> That's pretty cool.
Don't catch you there in a minute. Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. Don't you love it when you get a surprise tour at a museum you didn't know was here? That's awesome. All right, have a great day. Bye.